I'm Cookie Masterson, and welcome to Jurassic Park. All right, let's get this party started. Let's go! Off the top, while well, she is dating a millipede, Besides being a human, what's the most likely reason that Natalie Portman has a hard time playing a black swan? She's not male, she's not newly hatched, she's not Australian, or she's not completely extinct. I'm not saying anything, but she did fall in love with a choreographer. The correct answer is... The black swan is mostly found in Australia. Which makes sense, because in the movie, Portman has trouble with her role until she gets some action down under. This one's called Get a Life. Which life has had the longest life? Lifesavers, Life Cereal, Lifestyles Condoms, or Miller High Life? Want to know how you make a lifesaver last longer? You suck. <laughs> Want to see the answer? Lifestyles condoms were introduced in 1984. Life cereal came around in 1961. Lifesavers debuted in 1912. But Miller High Life was first served up in, get this, 1903. <laughs> Miller calls it the champagne of beers, which is a pretty good slogan because, you know, the world has been clamoring for a champagne tasting beer. Free. Here's a good one. The land that time f***ed. If Zelo's song Forget You actually described how he has forgotten all the people he used to know, what would he be suffering from? Retrograde amnesia, anterograde amnesia, lacunar amnesia, or source amnesia? Retrograde amnesia is the loss of pre-existing memories of events and people you used to know before the amnesia started. Poor guy, he's forgotten his cousins Hilo, Silo, Polo, Jello, Rolo, Portobello, and even his twin sister JLo. Love question four. Try. Don't screw this up, cause it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven phrases. For each one, tell me if it's the name of a children's board game or First date advice for women from Dr. Phil. If it's a children's board game, press here. If it's women's first date advice from Dr. Phil, press here. Each one right net you 300 bucks. Each one wrong cost you 300. And you've only got 30 seconds. Okay, we're off. Don't be late. Don't spill the beans. Don't break the ice. Don't say it! Don't wake daddy! Don't tip the waiter! Don't let the pigeon drive the bus! No, you'd have been perfect if you hadn't let that pigeon drive the bus there for a while. A couple other Dr. Phil tips for you ladies out there. Don't get drunk and don't neglect your grooming. Hey, that's why the man's the most well-respected doctor in the world. Here's one I like to call third down and six inches to go. Because they use the same official colors, which of these NFL promotions should Subway do? Cleveland Browns Mustard, Green Bay Snack Packers, New York Giants Party Subs, or St. Louis Turkey Breast and Black Forest Rams? The Green Bay Packers and Subway both share the same colors, green, yellow, and white. Also, when I go to a Packers game or a Subway, I always end up with cheese on my head. I am a messy eater. That's the end of round one. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. All right, let's get back to it. I call this one bareback bacon. You know how Canadians have those mounted police who ride around on horses? Crazy Canadians. Well, 
If the Royal Canadian Mounted Police decided to ride on a hybrid of the two animals found on the Canadian coat of arms, what new animal would they be riding? A lion acorn, a moose and pfeffer, a bivalo, or a grizzly belk? The two animals on the Canadian coat of arms are, believe it or not, the lion and the unicorn. <laughs> A unicorn. This is what happens when you provide universal health coverage. Stab at that niche market between Sears and Walmart. If everything in a Kohl's department store came with a free kohlrabi, what might you leave with? A sausage in your new Hagar pants? A vegetable in your new Croft and Barrow underwear? A nut in your new Lee jeans? Or cheese in your new Chaps socks? Kohlrabi is a vegetable. Just always remember to rinse your kohlrabi after removing it from your underwear. For Sinead O' Carnival. Which carnival game could you play almost anywhere in Europe, but not Ireland? Flip the actual frogs, whack an actual mole, actual duck pond, or goldfish ping pong ball toss? There are frogs, ducks, and goldfish in Ireland, but there are no moles in Ireland. They missed their chance to travel across the ice during the last ice age. There are a lot of face moles over there, though. Really stand out, too, what with the lack of skin pigmentation. Now, Chick Flick 2, even Chick Flickier. Imagine a sequel to the movie Bridesmaids, starring two young boy actors and their hilarious exploits carrying the train of Kristen Wiig's bridal gown. What would the movie be called? Best Boys, Pages, Escorts, or Consorts? When a young boy or boys carry the train of a bride's dress, they're called Page Boys or just Pages. That would be a great movie. Oh, you know who they should get to play one of the pages? That little boy from Jerry Maguire. What? He's old now? Let me see that picture. Ah! I just realized I'm going to die someday. You must say pocket size. Open wide for Millard Fillmore Girls. Because they share initials, what would be the favorite TV show of the 20th president of the United States? CSI, WWE, JAG, or ER? Well, well, well. It looks like somebody's going from the White House to the Big House. <laughs> Why didn't you pick this? James A. Garfield was the 20th president of the United States. Also, if he hadn't been assassinated, Garfield would be right around 180 years old today, which was exactly Jag's age demographic. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two things that match, touch the screen. 4,000 bucks if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose 4,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I only buy insurance from lovable characters. Who cares about the premiums? Good luck.
That's the game! Not a bad score at all. Although I should tell you that a sixth grader from Jane Addams Elementary School just finished playing this same episode and scored 2,000 points more than you did. Also, she was texting at the time. You don't know Jack! That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? Okay, keep me a piece if you'd like to engage in another tourniquet of wins. This Monday, catch the season six premiere of Farting with the Stars. And this season, we've got our most star-studded cast ever. C, Helen Hunt, Jim Caviezel, Leonard Nimoy, the guy from that one medical show, and the girl from that movie with the guy from Scrubs. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, and it's not gonna smell good. It's Farting with the Stars, where the only thing louder will be the roar of the crowd. Monday at, whoop, excuse me, Monday at seven, be there. Celebrity Farts Impersonated. Your child is the most precious thing in your life. Mama loves you so much, Eric. And as a parent, you wish you could protect your innocent baby from this cruel world forever. Unfortunately, the real world is out there waiting for them. You didn't make the squad, kid. You throw like a girl. It's not you, Eric. It's me. You're fired. But for now, you can still protect him with the no-surprise jack-in-the-box. Hey there, excuse me, uh, but I'm gonna pop out of this box soon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be popping out in about five seconds or so, so please prepare yourself. Again, I don't want to scare you, but I'm coming out in just a sec. And here I am, as promised, on time. This was fun. The No Surprise Jack in the Box from the No Surprise Jack in the Box Company. Because there are enough surprises in the world. Later tonight on the season premiere of Hoofs of Love. 18 women living in a house competing for the love of one famous horse. Oh my god, he was in that movie Hidalgo? He was the one that wasn't Vigo Mortensen. Who's up for body shots? But it's not just fun and games because all's fair in love and horse. Most of these women are here to drink and be on TV. But for me, it's real. I'm falling in love with that horse. Sorry, I am not here to make friends. I am here to f*** a horse. And it's all part of one horse's crazy journey to find love in L.A. I'm afraid there's only one saddle left. Will it go to Tamara or Nikki? Oh my gosh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Oh, let it be me. Don't say nay. <laughs> that bitch better get off my horse. It's time for an all-new season of Hoofs of Love. This horse is not just back, he's bareback. Do you have too many shelves? Don't know what to do with them? Well, now it's time to put your worries on the shelf. Introducing Shelf Shelves. Shelf Shelves are made exclusively for shelving shelves, and each Shelf Shelf shelves up to 12 shelves per shelf. That's a lot of shelves. Shelf Shelves saved my life. I really wanted to kill my shelf. Don't get stuck with unshelved shelves. Buy Shelf Shelves today and do your shelf a favor.